I'm also a staunch believer in President Franklin Roosevelt's advice on speeches to be sincere, be brief, and be seated. Uh, but I can only promise to be sincere and be seated today for being brief, at least for me anyway, uh, given the accomplishments of these two leaders and the med group uh, is just not possible. Obviously the clinic's home to the 30th med group, but this parking lot quite literally has been ground zero in our response to COVID-19. Um, I recall lines stretching down the sidewalk here uh, as we did our very first vaccine pods. Uh, I remember coming to Colonel Spittler at the time that this was like the Super Bowl for the med group. You know, they, they trained, you know, endlessly for pandemic response. And here we were uh, doing just what they trained uh, for the over many, many years. And so to be sure, we can't talk about Colonel Spittler's tenure here without discussing her team, her and the team's role in responding to the first global pandemic in 100 years. For it was your positivity, your care and your leadership that took this team to new heights. So it's with great pleasure I welcome Colonel Brent Cunningham and his family to Space Launch Delta 30 and Team Vandenberg. Brent comes to us from RAF Lincoln Heath and the 48th Medical Support Squadron, and he couldn't ask for a better leader to carry on the legacy of excellence at the 30th Med Group. It is truly an honor to take command of such a prestigious medical group and to be entrusted to lead some of the greatest men and women our country has to offer. Sir, the 30th Medical Group welcomes you. 